Welcome back to the Third Spice. I'm Haroon, and for those of you just joining us, buckle up. We're about to dive headfirst into a world of dense primeval forests, ancient rituals, and flavors that'll make you want to book a one-way ticket. Today, we're exploring Yakushima, Japan. This ain't your Tokyo neon and bullet train scene. This is an island where the trees are thousands of years old, the air hums with a different kind of energy, and the locals know a thing or two about living in harmony with nature. Stick around for a special halal recipe of a local favorite dish that'll warm you up from the inside out. You don't want to miss this. Alright folks, forget everything you think you know about forests. This ain't no walk in the park. This is Yakushima, home to the ancient cedar forests, a living, breathing cathedral of nature. We're talking trees that were saplings when the pyramids were still just blueprints. And the air, man, you can feel it. Thick with the scent of moss and earth, buzzing with a kind of primal energy that gets under your skin. But the real prize, the crown jewel, is the Jomonsugi. This gnarled old cedar has stood here for over 7,000 years. Imagine that. 7,000 years of witnessing empires rise and fall, of watching humanity stumble through the ages. There's a quiet wisdom in its twisted branches, a story etched into every ring of its bark. It makes you feel small, insignificant, and strangely connected to something much, much larger than yourself all at the same time. You know, most places try to erase the past, pave over it, build shiny new things on top, not Yakushima. Here, the past is woven into the fabric of everyday life. Take the moss ball rolling, for instance. Every year, the locals gather these massive balls of moss, some weighing hundreds of pounds, and parade them through the streets. It's a tradition that goes back centuries, a way to honor the spirits of the forest and ensure a good harvest. Now, you might think it sounds strange, but there's something undeniably mesmerizing about watching these giant green orbs being carefully maneuvered through the narrow lanes. It's like a scene out of a Miyazaki film, a reminder that magic still exists if you know where to look for it. Life on Yokushima is different. It's slower, more deliberate. There's a quiet rhythm to the days, dictated by the ebb and flow of the tides, the whispers of the wind through the cedar trees. People here understand the importance of balance, of living in harmony with nature. They've learned to take only what they need, to tread lightly on the earth. That being said, don't think for a minute that this is some kind of backwater. You'll find high-speed internet alongside traditional tea houses, solar panels powering homes built with ancient techniques. It's a fascinating blend of old and new, a reminder that progress doesn't have to come at the expense of the planet. Listen, if there's one thing Yakushima's got, it's natural beauty. Forget your travel brochures, this is the real deal. We're talking about places like the Shiratani Unsuikyo Ravine, where you can hike through a moss-covered wonderland straight out of a fairy tale. The air is so clean it feels like you're breathing for the first time. Then there's Yakusugi Land, a mystical forest of ancient cedars that'll make you feel like you've stepped back in time. And don't even get me started on the waterfalls. Sempiro Falls cascading down a sheer rock face will take your breath away. And if you're looking for a little relaxation after all that exploring, Onoida Hot Springs are calling your name. Trust me, a soak in these mineral-rich waters is the perfect way to end a day in paradise. Forget your sterile corporate music festivals. Here on Yakushima, festivals are a living, breathing connection to the past. We're talking centuries-old traditions, passed down through generations, a riot of color, music, and dance. Picture this, the air thick with the scent of incense, the rhythmic beat of taiko drums vibrating in your chest, the hypnotic swirl of traditional costumes. Each festival tells a story, honors a deity, celebrates the seasons. You'll see dances that mimic the movements of animals, songs that tell of ancient battles and love stories. It's a chance to witness a culture that's vibrantly alive, a reminder that some things are timeless. Forget your souvenir shops peddling mass-produced trinkets. The markets of Yakushima are a treasure trove of unique handcrafted goods. We're talking about stores piled high with fresh, locally grown produce juicy mangoes, plump shiitake mushrooms, and strange exotic fruits you won't find anywhere else. But it's the craftsmanship that'll really blow you away. We're talking about intricate wood carvings made from the island's famous cedar wood, delicate pottery painted with traditional designs, and textiles woven on ancient looms. Every piece tells a story, reflects the soul of the island and its people. You're not just buying a souvenir, you're taking home a piece of Yakushima's heart. All right, folks, let's talk food. Yakushima's cuisine is all about fresh, local ingredients, and the star of the show is the Kagoshima-style tonkotsu ramen. Now I know what you're thinking, ramen in Japan? Groundbreaking. But trust me, this is different. 
we're going to put a halal spin on it that'll make your taste buds sing. First, we start with a rich, flavorful broth, simmered for hours with chicken bones instead of the traditional pork. Next, we add springy, perfectly cooked noodles, tender slices of seasoned chicken, a perfectly boiled egg, and a sprinkle of fresh scallions. But the secret ingredient, the one that takes it to the next level, a dollop of fragrant chili oil made with local chilies and spices. It's the perfect balance of savory, spicy, and comforting, a bowl of pure soul satisfaction. So there you have it, Yakushima, a place where ancient forests meet modern life, where traditions are honored, and the food will make you want to lick the bowl clean. For more fun, food, and adventures, subscribe to The Third Spice, like, comment, and share this video. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of Yakushima was. Thanks for watching.